What's up? In this simple video, I'm gonna teach you how to catch a gar easiest way. Step one, the easiest part, find where the gar are. And by that, I mean, are they in a lake by you? Are they in a river or something? Find where they are and get there. So for me, they are in brackish water right here at the Half Moon Creek. So the Half Moon Creek is near my buddy Davis's house and there are gar all over the place right now. So next, you will need bait. The best bait, hands down, is cut bait. And I normally go with whatever fish these gar are normally feeding on, whether that's bluegill, shad, croaker, whatever. Right here, I'm using a cut croaker because that's what they're normally feeding on. So typically, I like to wait about two minutes before I set the hook because they're such slow eaters. You just gotta give them that time before you set that hook. It will greatly increase your chances of hooking up on a gar. Too. I almost want to clean them off. Yeah. Yeah, we can clean these guys off. I got pliers and stuff. He's bitten into too. Oh, yeah. Ugh. That ain't good. So we're, we're cleaning them off real quick. Gonna get them off and get them back in the water as soon as possible. that thing off. Yeah. Kill these guys. These guys are so awesome. All right. That was awesome. Thanks for that. Man. Good job. I got slime all over my hands. Unless y'all want slime. Oh, oh, he's on there? <laughs> yes, sir. I'll get the net. Oh, he's barely up. Let him come back. Yes, sir. Oh, hoo -hoo -hoo. Hey guys, so I have a gar on right now. Boy taking lots of line. Let's get him now. Oh, got him, got him. Yes, sir. Ooh. Putting up a fight. Look at him down there. I don't know if, how well you can see him. He is not happy, I'll tell you what. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at him. He is so cool. He's got that armor plating. I mean, these guys are literally dinosaurs. I mean, living fossils. They're so cool. They're so old. Prehistoric fish. That's amazing. So this is actually a long nose gar. You can tell because he has a longer nose right there. Uh, spotted gar will have a shorter nose and they'll have a lot more defined spots. I mean, you can see this guy has spots, but they'll be a lot more defined uh, and larger and more visible on a spotted gar. An alligator gar grow to be like seven feet. You'll know an alligator gar if you see one. The snout is actually very wide on a gator gar as well. So I'm gonna get this guy back in the water. Hey, so another gar has this. We'll let him eat for a while. Oh, now he's going way far under the dock. Dude, he's spooling this thing. I have to let him eat. It is a dumb fight. Uh, uh, I'm having to, to reel this thing so hard. Dude, I'm insane. I got him out of the dock. He's over here now. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's weigh him this time. Got right, guys. armor on him. Yeah, <laughs> it's a crazy armor. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh him in the net 
and then afterwards I'm just gonna weigh the net itself and then I'll give me an accurate measurement of how much he weighs. Okay, it shows 10.6. 10.6. Bro, that hook wasn't even in him. <laughs> they never are, you never, you always just wrap them around his face. I know. You need the tool again? Peel his, oh, 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 he tried to get you. He did. <laughs> That's a picture right there. Do you want a portrait mode? Yeah. <laughs> All right, buddy. Any swim mode. Right away. I kind of put him in upside down a little bit. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'll be sure to answer.